Well, hey everybody, on this week's Tuesday's Tips and Tricks, I'm going to show you how to do a proper widescreen without having to add in those black bars. And that's coming right up. Okay, so let's talk about doing a widescreen. So right now we've got two 4K clips on the timeline, and I've already color corrected them. And if you play it, you see this is our normal 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So if you want to do widescreen without adding the bars, because a lot of people, they'll add the bars, and I'll show you here in my presets. I've got, where did I put it? Uh, widescreen bars. Grab that. Let's put it onto adjustment layer. Boom. Now this is what a lot of people will do. They will put widescreen bars on. Now for those of us that have a widescreen monitor, we get to see these lovely little bars right here. And that's something that you don't want to do. And there's another way to do it. And it's really a proper way to do it. Because for those people that like watching a true native widescreen image, they don't want to see the black bars. So what we do is we'll go up to Sequence, click Sequence, go to Sequence Settings. Now right now we're at 3840 by 2160, our native 4K. We're going to change this 2160 to 1634 and then click OK. Yes. Now you see we have a nice widescreen image. Now you may say, well, hey, there's a problem here because look, his head's cut off. The nice thing is you have not stretched out the footage. You've only cropped it in from top and bottom. So what I mean by that is you can click on the video and we can pull down the frame so that you can get your framing correct and then you play the video and you see that he's still nice and in frame correctly his head is still within the shot and then we go back over here to the next shot gentleman in the gym or should I say in the locker room and we can also reframe him so we can bring them down. Now you can see we've got a lot of room here. So depending on the feel that you're going for, I'd like to get him right about there. Not too much headroom over him. I'd like a nice slow reveal. See, it looks a lot better. But anyway, this is one of the very simple ways that you can get a widescreen effect without having to put in those black bars. Now, there's a lot of uh, budding filmmakers out there that would like to have this widescreen look, but they know that if they submit it, it may get rejected just for the sheer fact of that it is black bars have been put in. Now, I'm not saying that every uh, film house is going to be that nitpicky, but you know, it's just a little way to kind of up your game just slightly and be able to have that professional look that you're looking for. So anyway, if you thought this video was helpful, comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you liked it, if you have any other tips and tricks that you'd like to learn. Also, if you thought this video was helpful to you, give me a nice big thumbs up on the video. And hey, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing today because it does help this channel grow and I'm looking to have it grow a lot here in 2020 in the latter half, should I say. And also next week's video is going to be about the Sony ZV-1 and the Canon M50. How to stabilize your footage without using electronic image stabilization and not even a gimbal. And there's a proper way to stabilize the footage. But it'll be next week. Until then, I hope you guys have yourself a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.